Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some full brand burn in the mid lane. We have Scorch, Ignite, Brand Passive. That's three points of burn with Leandres and Demonic. That is five points of burn. Should be a lot of fun. Up against Katarina, not a bad matchup. Brand does decent against Kata, Talia, Cho, Lissandra, Renekton, Azir, and many other mid laners. He struggles heavily against champions he can't really kill. Like Trindamir mid is his worst matchup in the game. Also having to play against... Uh, things that just giga outrange him, such as Velkaz, is very, very challenging because you can't get to them. The range matchups he does well against are the ones where his W has equal or more range than them. So we're up against Kata, should be fun. Usually against melee champs, you want to start with your E because it's about the same damage as everything else, except it's point and click and only a slightly longer cooldown. So we're going to go ahead and start with our E. We have Arcane Comet, Mana Flow with Transcendent, Scorch, Taste of Blood, and Ultimate Hunter, three side runs, double AP, magic resist. You can go for one attack speed, but usually the double AP is the way to go. Do a little bit of minion block here. Cat is going to want me to push, plus my E is going to push anyways. So first thing we're going to do is step up. I want to take damage and then hit her with an ability to get my taste of blood. I guess it's from any damage source, not just an ability. So we'll just step up, get our mana flow going here. Got it. We're going to miss a minion. It's all right. Not a huge deal. She missed two. Push her all the way back if she's going to allow me to. Auto attack E. I don't want to miss that minion. She's playing so defensive anyways. I'm not going to be able to hit her very much to where if I have to use an ability, it's fine. We'll go ahead and get my Q if she tries to take a huge trade. You can get W level two. You have options. Getting Q level two is your safest since you then have the stun. We can't stun her until her dash is on a cooldown though. Got it. So we've missed three minions so far. Not too big, but more than I would like. We're going to splash our E onto her by hitting it on her minions. Going to feed autos on her as she goes into last hit. It's the advantage of playing range into melee. And then we'll splash that onto her. If something's already on fire, your E spreads like crazy when you hit it with it. So it's actually your fastest way to push wave is to W then E. We'll splash that onto her, get her with the stun. Not bad, pretty solid trade. We just have to hold on to Q until their main source of mobility has expired. So it's, for her, it's her dashes. I basically can't use Q until her dash is on a cooldown. If I do, I'm gonna miss it because she's gonna dash right as I go to throw it, or right as it's traveling in midair. We have CS advantage, very good. We don't actually have to kill her. Just gotta play it nice and slow. It's not easy. It kills on brand kind of pre six. You're more playing for team fights more than anything. We got the mana flow plus taste of blood. You can see them right here when they're up or when they're on a cooldown. That was a pretty important ability to land there. I don't know why Lily is trying to hit my minions here. It's a little weird. I guess she's trying to keep up her prance, but it seems like she kind of missed it anyways. He's playing so defensive. I should have queued that minion at point blank range. So here I want to get off my mana flow. So I'll wait for her to step up. We get the spread. It's a little bit more challenging to spread your E against a long range champ like Syndra. The longer range they are, the more you have to play heavier for your W than for your E. But the shorter range they are, the more you get to play E heavy, which is good because it's not a skill shot. It's just proximity. Here, for example, I can spread it, apply with my Q. It's a little dangerous putting Q on cooldown like that, but uh, she's she's low enough on health to where it's not a huge concern. Plus, it is a uh, Kane jungle, which doesn't have the best ganks in the world. I'm gonna hover my cursor here a bit. Got her with the E because I kind of had my cursor ready. Auto Q. Oh, if my burn was still on her, she was dead there. My burn had faded though. Fastest way to push wave is QE then W because your W does slightly more damage if it's already on fire. So here, for example, if we hit it with a Q, E on the whole thing, and then we try to hit the whole thing with a W if I had the mana, then that would be the fastest. Here, I'm just trying to get it finished though. We've been missing a fair share of CS, but we've been being 
we've been aggressive with her, so it's fine. Ideally, you get aggression against the melee champs and you don't miss CS. Yes. <laughs> Easier said than done, though. First item back, you want as much as your lost chapter as you can afford. In this case, I certainly can't afford it. D-Ring goes a long way, though. The D-Ring mana regen and plus one mana flow is finished. It gives you a lot of mana regeneration. It helps out so, 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 so much. You pretty much just go Leandri's Rush 19 out of 20 times because it synergizes so well with the brand passive burn. Doesn't look like I'm even going to miss the cannon. That's nice. We get the cannon. I have R. I guess I can rotate for this. I don't want to, but I will. Katarina has R. That was a great pushback by the Milio. I could flash for this. Flash WQ. I'll drop the RE. Probably didn't need to drop R. It's whatever. We got the kill. We're going to help her with this real quick. I think brand passive. Yeah, it does a does it do extra damage against monsters? Yeah, it does. I, I figured right it did that. At one point, they did a bunch of miscellaneous buffs for like non-junglers. And Bran was one of them. It was like Bran, Talon, Darius, Garen, Teemo. So yeah, Bran can help out a lot with things like dragons. Katarina doesn't have any kills yet. She's, she's pretty low value currently. She steps up all hit her with an E. Auto attack Q. Q is my lowest mana cost at the moment, so if I have to use an ability to hit a minion, ideally I do it with Q, as long as it's not going to get me killed by the enemy champion, because your Q is your main. Kind of one bullet in the gun. Once your Q's on a cooldown, they can look for an engage on you, if they have the means to do so. Since she's in the position that she is, she really can't, though. I can spread this to her. Probably just fight her when she goes in for this cannon. Push her off of it. Got her with my E. Missed my stun. She actually did a lot of damage there. She's not going to be able to quite get that kill though. Well played by her. Not bad at all. Auto attack in the Q. I'm going to have to chug potions now. It's alright. As long as we stay alive, because we're still building CS lead on her. She doesn't have R now. Ooh, that hit. That's really bad for her. All E spread here as well. Almost caught her inside of that. Oof, missed that minion. Not sure they're junglers. I haven't seen him much of this game. He's been mainly neglecting mid. I wouldn't say that I've been mainly gankable, though. I've been playing mostly outside of those ranges. Guess I'll stay since Lily is here. I'll stay to push. We'll get it with a QEW. We want to try to make sure the W hits the melee minion since they're obviously tankier. Nice. Got it pushed. And I guess I'll just reset from here. I don't have to stay for plate. I'm sitting on a pretty good back. Early Sork Shoes on Bran are fine if your opponent hasn't built Magic Resist. In this case, I can buy so much of my Leon Andres. For example, if I couldn't get Fiendish Codex because it was 900 gold, but I had 800, I would have gone for Sork Shoes there instead of an Ant Tome Dark Seal. But since I had the perfect amount of gold, it's fine. Or if I needed potions, I could have just gone Sork Shoe Double Pot. That would have also worked. We'll go for Emac second because it's not a skill shot. Easy peasy to land. We'll pop E, make our W do more damage by burning everything. Just kind of going 80 Bruiser Kata. It's probably the best build against a Bran. Hit her with the spread. Ooh, she's feeling that. She is feeling that right there. Some decent damage. She's on refill though. I wanted her to miss it. Sure enough, she does. She didn't want to get hit by the fireball. <laughs> oh, what a goofball. See if I can get her with the spread here. Oh, no. She stepped back really far. I needed to wait before I used my E. That is my bad. Get all of our mana back from Lost Chapter. 
We have mana flow full stack too, so that's giving us constant mana regeneration. Mana flow is honestly kind of OP. Get that down, ignite. She's not going to die from that, but it's going to dump her out of lane, which is kind of what we need. We need her to be gone so we can take turret plates. Brand's more of a team fighter than necessarily a soloist. Should have backed up farther. I think she's waiting for Kane to come get me. No, Kane's not even over here, dude. She's going to miss out on so much here. What we want to do is hit the whole thing with a uh, with a spread. Try to get W on both. It's not easy, though, because if the ranged minions don't really scrunch in a bit, then it's kind of hard to hit the whole thing. Oh, I did my W just a fraction of a second early there. Get her with the stun. That's the passive. She can't kill me like that. Uh, not bad. Cost me a lot of HP. She just got back to lane. Ooh. Wait, why is this guy so fast? Yeah, that sucks. He was going so fast. He just got his red form. He was moving as if he was ghosted, but no. He literally just pushed his evolution out really far. Lily's got her on. He also had Prowlers, so yeah, that was kind of brutal. We got Leandri's now, at least. And Katarina didn't get the kill, which is really, really good. I'm going to have to get a Morello this game. 100%. It's looking like a Morello. Kane's gonna, Red Kane self feels like crazy just for damaging. I'd say we push Demonic into Morello. If I position, I should be able to stay away from Kane. That What just happened can't happen again. That's literally from the evolution speed up. He was moving like a Nunu snowball. <laughs> Tier 1 boots too, man. It's wild. About 1W kills backline now. Sweet. Wow, two wards. That's kind of peculiar. You only get 10 gold for even killing a ward. It's almost not even worth it. <laughs> Gotta sit there and do that forever. Auto attack. Ooh, I almost missed cannon. My burn barely was able to get it. This turret's gone. I think they changed Herald to for to scrape two plates like it used to. Let's see. For a while there, it only scraped a plate and a half. Oh, okay. So it doesn't even scrape two plates. I take it back. Save me, teammates. Get him to stun W. Yeah, you're... I think he dodges my passive damage with that, which is kind of lame. Get out the stun. You just have to hold on to it is the thing. If you don't hold on to it, it's not going to land. Always hold your Q for as long as you can until they've shown their hand completely. Again with the EQ. Q misses. Yeah, down she goes. She dies from the burn. These fights are kind of messy. <laughs> very, very messy. Drop the W, get this pushed. And that is first turret gold. I think I can actually take this quite easily. It's my bonus damage against monsters. We need to get our passive on it though. That's where the real damage comes from. Still takes longer than you'd think, even with my extra damage on passive against them. It's a good time to reset. I'm missing a lot of health. Katarina's bot side. I can push this real fast. Yeah, I'll just push it real quick and back off. I have plenty of space. The question is, do we go for Demonic before Morello? I don't think so. I think Demonic's too strong. Even on range champs, it's still pretty good. Go for this, this, and this. I will say Shadow Flame second item is not bad. Shadow Flame is highly justifiable. Same price as Demonic. You get a lot of penetration out of it, especially if they don't have magic resist yet. 
the burn on it when they're low HP. Super, super high. Dark Harvest just doesn't do the same damage output as Arcane. Dark Harvest is literally only better than Arcane, specifically for kind of mid-late game team fights. If you're going to get off several Dark Harvest in a team fight, then yeah, it's going to be stronger. But for the lane phase, it's borderline useless. Because you almost never get to use its effects. It's a close game so far. I don't really know where anybody is. It's kind of dangerous for me to be pushed up at all. I want him to use his Q. Yeah, I missed my Q there. I'm not super long range. It's very challenging to land it consistently at this type of distance. Yeah, eat on that, buddy. <laughs> I junked him. He doesn't have magic resist yet, and he's full squishy. Can's going for it. He is really, really going for it here. I can't get there in time though. I'm so far away. They're still chasing. I was hoping the enemies would turn, but they didn't. I think Twitch would actually chase here. There's no way, right? Yeah, he's not going to do it. Kane's thinking about hovering. This isn't actually worded is the thing. I think I can do something here. I'm going to just drop the R nice and early. Get down the Q. These guys are in trouble. To say the least. I can't see him. I kind of need vision. My Q doesn't stun him. So when he dies, it removes the burn. That's unfortunate. You see where the Twitch is at. Oh, no, that doesn't count. How does that not count? That's right on top of him. I wasted flash for that, too. No way. Damn, bro. Twitch has a skinny hitbox. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, well. It is what it is. So close to demonic. We only need about one more kill. Kata going in. Kled's still alive. He needs to get back on his horse. Get Kata with the E. Got him with the stun. I need to get away from this though. That is trouble. Give me all those fruits. Good thing Twitch isn't fed. If Twitch was fed there, I was a thousand percent dead. I'd already burned everything for the king. Zion's getting kind of big. Down he goes. Do not let him hit you, people. He will kill you. you also be giving him a free heart still if he hits you. That's the thing about Scion. If you just don't let him auto you, he won't get heart still and he won't scale very well. And on the bright side, I have double max health burn. I have... Uh, well, I technically more than that once I have Demonic, but for right now, it's just Leandre's and passive doing max health burn. Now we have triple max health burn, and then we have flat burns on Ignite and Scorch. Ignite obviously being true damage, Scorch being magic damage. I honestly think Scorch is kind of crap. I'm not a big fan of the rune. If Bran had better AP scaling, I'd recommend Gathering Storm instead. Gathering Storm on the majority of chance. Champs is the correct item or the correct room. Yeah, they know I'm over here. Yeah, eat on that, Kel. Eat on that big old burn. Didn't. Ooh, I did get the spread. Let's go. That's pretty pretty neat. Arcane Comet's a low cooldown, only 12 seconds. I missed all of those minions. Dragon is definitely our win con. That was a great little hit onto the Kata there. I actually have to be kind of careful using my uh, Q like that. Because when it's on cooldown, Twitch could look for an all-in against me if I don't have that stun pressure. 
Easy dragon mode. Yeah, Kata kind of went the bruiser magic resist. There's no easy build option for Kata. Kata needs her jungler to camp her lane against Bran because Bran has such a straightforward play pattern with the e-spam. Got him with the stun W. Where the hell did he go? He got dragon as well. I'm so confused. He just flashed out, I guess. He's asleep, but he's inside of her, so we can't really do anything about it. Ooh, she's dead. My burn kills. Ripperoni Kata. They got dragon, but I don't think it's really worth it if they're all going to die for it. We have the minions. We can take turret. Yeah, two kills plus turret is probably worth more than a dragon. I guess we can Baron. As long as our jungler doesn't miss smite. I really do like that Kane build. I'm a huge fan of Prowlers on Kane. It feels incredibly strong. I need to get in range to apply my passive. It wouldn't even let me hit me hit him with my E there. Kinda have to Wow, Scuttle, bro, get out of the way. Scuttle literally just blocked my Q stun. I was holding on to it and I had the perfect angle on Scion and then Scuttle freaking jumps in front. What a little cheater. Dude, I kind of need this. Please, Lilia. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm super, 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 super room. I haven't backed in a while. Probably should go for a Morello at this point or a Zanyas. Kane has the flank on me here. I can't stay pushed up. Rylize is also incredibly good. I think we should go for this and then push Rylize. I think that is 100% the move. Because this is the full heal cut. They changed heal cut items a little bit ago to where you don't even really need to finish them to obtain full value. Because you get the 40% heal cut per 3 for applying magic damage versus 40% heal cut per 3 for applying magic damage. So it's the same exact thing. It used, they changed it. Like far, if you go a little bit farther back from this change, you used to have to kind of finish it. Otherwise, it was partial and it was really annoying. So yeah, we'll just chill on this little piece for now. Apply the 40% cut. Well, here comes Kane. We just have to make sure we're not in the front line. You kind of, you want to have the option of spacing on brand. Because if you die before you can use your abilities, it's horrible. Oh, if he found that knock up though, my goodness. Ooh, I hit something there. That's going to hurt. I got double max health burn. Leandres has done like over 4k. Demonic's already done 1100. Got him with the stun W. And that's why Tank Scion's kind of trash against things like Brand. Brand is an amazing counter to it. Please don't let him auto you. There we go. Ooh, we land it. We land it. <laughs> I think our E barely outranges. His knock up, like if I can get E down and move a little bit, he can't land. Hello, Kata. I'm just going to flash R. That was kind of awkward, but I am landing. I really wish that would have killed the rat. He got out of that pretty quickly. Got to get hits on the turret. Get her with my E. Down she goes. I got Twitch with my Q. Let's go ahead and spread that. Big spread with E. It hits Kel. We can get her with stun then. No, 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 no. That's bad. <laughs> I missed. Got the stun. Down you go. <laughs> I'm landing way too many stuns. This is highly unusual. And that is a GG's well played. Some burn brand in the mid lane.
So we got damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 32,000. Looking at damage taken, we took basically zero damage because we were positioned so safe. Self mitigated. Yeah, we didn't take any damage. <laughs> For runes, a really good value. Once again, Dark Harvest in late game team fights is higher value than arcane comet but for the first 20 minutes of the game arcane comet literally does more damage try both in your games keep track of the damage output it's exactly what i did and i found dark cars only truly starts to outshine around 30 35 minute mark so arcane really is the way to go if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time